Welcome to our historical series, where we explore fascinating and unexpected moments from the past. Today, we delve into the creation of one of the most influential documents in history, Magna Carta. Magna Carta, also known as the Great Charter, serves as a foundational cornerstone of modern democracy and the rule of law. This historical manuscript, sealed on June 15, 1215, in a meadow at Runnymede, England, represents a pivotal moment in the struggle for individual liberties and limitations on absolute monarchical power. The early 13th century was a tumultuous time in England. King John, infamous for his oppressive and arbitrary rule, faced mounting discontent among his barons, clergy, and subjects. His reign was marked by exorbitant taxation, military failures, his abuse of the legal system, and his interference with the church. By 1215, a group of rebellious barons had reached their breaking point, and they demanded relief from the king's tyranny. It was in this backdrop of political unrest that Magna Carta was born. Magna Carta was not a declaration of universal human rights in the modern sense, but rather a practical and specific attempt to address the grievances of the barons and limit the authority of the king. It was a legal agreement between King John and his barons, outlining a set of promises and rights. Its contents primarily focused on issues such as taxation, feudal obligations, and the administration of justice. The charter contained 63 clauses, each addressing a particular grievance or demand. Some clauses were concerned with matters that may seem arcane to modern readers, such as fishing rights on the River Thames. But other clauses laid the foundation for principles that would become central to the development of constitutional law. Key principles of Magna Carta include rule of law. Magna Carta established the principle that no one, not even the king, is above the law. Due process. The Charter introduced the concept of due process, ensuring that individuals could not be arbitrarily punished or deprived of their rights. Taxation with consent. One of the central concerns of the barons was excessive taxation. Magna Carta required that any new taxes or levies must be approved by a council of nobles, known as a Great Council. This principle laid the groundwork for modern concepts of representative government and taxation with representation. Protection of widows and heirs. The charter included provisions to protect the inheritance rights of widows and heirs, ensuring that their property would not be seized by the king or his agents. Freedom of the church. Magna Carta addressed the relationship between the church and the monarchy asserting that the English church should be free from royal interference. Habeas corpus. Although not explicitly mentioned in Magna Carta, the principle of habeas corpus, which ensures that individuals cannot be held in detention without a legal basis, can trace its roots to this historic document. Magna Carta was not an instant remedy to the grievances of the barons or the broader issues of governance in medieval England. King John, after reluctantly sealing the charter, sought papal annulment, plunging the country into civil war. However, Magna Carta's principles gained greater significance over time. During the reign of John's son, King Henry III, and subsequent monarchs, Magna Carta was reissued and reconfirmed multiple times. With each reissue, it was expanded and modified to address contemporary concerns. By the late 13th century, it had evolved from a baronial charter into a symbol of broader legal and political principles. One of the most pivotal moments in Magna Carta's evolution came in 1297, when King Edward I issued a version known as the Confirmatio Carterum, or Confirmation of the Charters. This reissue made Magna Carta applicable to all free men in the kingdom, not just the barons, it solidified the idea that the king's authority was limited by law, and that the rights and liberties enshrined in the charter were not the exclusive preserve of the aristocracy, but applied to all free subjects. Magna Carta had a profound impact beyond the borders of England. 
it served as a model for the development of constitutional and legal principles in other nations including Scotland, where the Declaration of Arbroath in 1320 drew inspiration from the Charter. In the American colonies, Magna Carta's legacy played a significant role in shaping the concept of individual rights and the resistance to British colonial rule. The famous phrase, no taxation without representation, echoes the Charter's provisions on taxation and consent. Furthermore, Magna Carta influenced the development of legal systems around the world. Many legal scholars see it as a precursor to modern constitutionalism, the Bill of Rights, and the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Its principles of due process, equality before the law, and limitations on government power have left an indelible mark on the development of democratic societies and the protection of human rights. Magna Carta though born out of the specific grievances of medieval English barons, transcended its historical context to become a symbol of liberty and justice for all. Its enduring legacy lies in its principles, which continue to shape the foundations of modern constitutionalism, human rights, and the rule of law. Magna Carta remains a timeless testament to the enduring human desire for freedom and the belief that no one not even the mightiest monarch is above the law. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate your support. Until next time, farewell.